I'll be happy when I have the thing. I'll be happy when I've achieved the thing. I'll be happy when. We've tricked ourselves. We've put ourselves in a, in a trap where we're never content with where we are. Okay? I just finished a huge QA project for work. It's been a very crazy month. And last night, I actually carved out the time. I can sit down, work on stuff that I'm building. And I got nothing left upstairs. I'm exhausted. My mind is, is just not ready to do the metaphorical lifting necessary to build my own business. All right? Oh, man, is that frustrating. Why? Because I've trained myself to be happy when. I've trained myself to, to feel trapped. Trapped with where I am such that tomorrow is going to look exactly like today because I haven't done enough to change my circumstances. Man, and so when I think of that, when I think about where I was about halfway through my um, personal work session yesterday, just frustrated, and I'm not making enough progress. <laughs> just listen to that thought process. I'm not making enough progress. So you're beating yourself up while you're doing the right thing because you've trained yourself to not be happy ever. You know, eventually I'll be running my own business. You know, eventually all this is going to work out. And even then I won't be happy. Because I've trained myself to never be happy. I've trained myself to be frustrated constantly. And so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> Where yesterday I sit down and there's just, there's nothing left. There's not enough strength to patch the software I'm working on. There's not enough strength to work on my carpentry project. Whatever it is that you're doing. You've spent yourself during the day. You had a 12-hour work day. You had four hours with the kids. You spent another two hours doing something around the house, and then you sit down for two hours to work on something. That... You're human. You're human. <laughs> you need to go to bed. You need to rest. And most of all, you need to teach yourself that right now is all you have. Right now is your reality, and you need to find some way to be okay with that. And on top of that, you... <laughs> You need to understand that you're doing the right things to change tomorrow, to be more in line with the vision of what you like want with the vision of what you want your life to be. You <laughs> are doing the right things. And that frustration just grips you. Like, yeah, but I'm my hundred percent right now is only sixty percent. My hundred percent right now isn't enough. I'm not patching the software. I'm not making that update. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but you've carved out the time to actually sit down and do it. You're actually sitting down reading documentation, trying to understand these different configuration files so that later you can come in and do the work. You're still doing things that are, are positive. You're still doing the right stuff. And so retraining your brain to actually be not constantly seeking that outside validation. That is very, very difficult. Because we're constantly trained. You'll be happy when. When you get the new job. When you get the new shiny object. When you have achieved the thing. No. No. Be happy now. Be content now. Be satisfied with the effort that you're putting in. Everyone always says, uh, it's the journey, not the destination. And that's the hardest thing to even come to grips with. You realize it afterwards. You're having so much fun building the thing. You're having so much fun developing the person that you are. And then when you get it, it's like that, that chocolate Easter bunny. You know, the ones that are hollow. Not the solid chocolate. Those are, those are good ones. I mean the hollow chocolate Easter bunny that you buy at the store. You bite into it. You're like, oh, it's hollow. Oh, come on. That's kind of what the shiny object is. That's kind of what the achievement is. It's kind of what the whatever thing you're trying to accomplish is. You realize you were more excited to go to the store and buy the chocolate bunny than you were to eat it. <laughs> so when I'm gripped by that feeling, when I'm, I'm consumed by this sensation inside of me that I'm not doing enough to change my tomorrow 
and it's going to look exactly like today. And I want more. I want more. I want it to be different than today. I have to remind myself that not only am I doing the right thing, sitting down and, and working on whatever it is, not only am I doing the right thing for making the time to do that, not only am I doing the right thing by keeping my life organized such that I can do those first two things. I've organized my time, my focus, I'm building momentum as I'm working on whatever it is. I have to remind myself also that it's a process. It's, it's that the timeline for what I need to accomplish, it doesn't have to be done by tomorrow. This is five years, man. Five years, okay, from today. I'm going to look back and I'm going to think myself, hey, five years ago, Luke, I'm really, really glad that you took the steps to make this possible. That is what I have to remind myself. That is what I hope you can learn to do for yourself, is take that pressure off. <laughs> Holy cannoli, it's not done this instant. I don't have the thing this instant. I haven't achieved the thing this instant. No one has. But you're doing all the right things and you have a plan to make it work over time. And then hopefully you're kind to yourself when that feeling comes about. Because it's brutal. It's brutal when you're kicking yourself. When you're kicking reality. <laughs> you're frustrated with where you are, everything around you, all the circumstances in your life. You're just oh, so frustrated. That you're actually showing up to the big game and you, your 100% is only, you know, like 60% of what you could really do. Good luck. I hope you take that moment to put it in perspective. Realize that the, the thing isn't due tomorrow. Realize that you're doing a good job. Pat yourself on the back. Think about that version of you in five years who's going to look back and thank you. Take that deep breath. Do what you can do now. And then get some sleep. Come back tomorrow refreshed, ready, strong. Because it's all coming down to just taking care of yourself. And the people you're responsible for. Take care of you and your domain. And keep moving forward with those positive actions. And you'll be just fine. And it all starts with that deep breath. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Hang in there.